What is high blood pressure? The heart is a muscle that pumps blood around the body. As it travels, the blood delivers oxygen to the body's vital organs. Sometimes, a problem in the body makes it harder for the heart to pump the blood. This could happen, for example, if an artery becomes too narrow. Persistent high blood pressure can put a strain on the walls of the arteries. This can lead to a variety of health problems, some of which can be life-threatening. High blood pressure chart The chart below shows measures for normal and high blood pressure, according to the American Heart Association AHA. Doctors measure blood pressure in millimeters of mercury MHG. Systolic pressure measures the pressure in the arteries as the heart contracts and as the top number on a blood pressure reading. Diastolic, which is the lower number, represents the blood pressure when the heart is resting between beats. Signs and symptoms Most people with high blood pressure will not experience any symptoms, which is why people often call hypertension the silent killer. However, once blood pressure reaches about 180-120 of a millimeter Hg, it becomes a hypertensive crisis, which is a medical emergency. At this stage, a person may have a headache, nausea, vomiting, dizziness, blurred or double vision, nosebleeds, heart palpitations, breathlessness. Anybody who experiences these symptoms should see their doctor immediately. Symptoms in women hormonal factors mean that the risk of high blood pressure may be different in males and females. Factors that can increase the risk of high blood pressure in females include Pregnancy menopause The use of birth control pills during pregnancy, high blood pressure can be a sign of preeclampsia, a potentially dangerous condition that can affect the woman and her unborn baby. Symptoms of preeclampsia include Headaches Vision changes Abdominal pain Swelling due to edema All women should follow the guidelines for screening and attend all health checks, especially during pregnancy. Symptoms in teens Teenagers can develop high blood pressure due to obesity or an underlying medical condition. Possible medical factors include Aspects of metabolic syndrome, such as type 2 diabetes, kidney disease, endocrine disease, which affects the hormones, vascular disease, which affects the blood vessels, a neurological condition. These conditions may have symptoms of their own. The symptoms of high blood pressure, if they occur, will be the same as for other groups. Symptoms in children High blood pressure can affect children. Having obesity and diabetes increases the risk, but it can also be a sign of a tumor heart problems, kidney problems, thyroid problems, a genetic condition, such as Cushing's syndrome as with adults, high blood pressure often does not cause symptoms in children. However, if symptoms do occur, they may include a headache, fatigue, blurred vision, nosebleeds, they may also have signs of another condition. Symptoms in babies, newborns and very young babies can sometimes have high blood pressure due to an underlying health condition, such as kidney or heart disease. Symptoms may include a failure to thrive, seizures, irritability, lethargy, respiratory distress. Other symptoms will depend on the condition that is causing the high blood pressure. Causes high blood pressure can occur when certain changes happen in the body or if a person is born with specific genetic features that cause a health condition. It can affect people with obesity, type 2 diabetes, kidney disease, obstructive sleep apnea, lupus scleroderma, underactive or overactive thyroid congenital conditions, such as Cushing's syndrome, acromegaly, or pheochromocytoma. Sometimes, there is no apparent cause. In this case, a doctor will diagnose primary hypertension. Consuming a high-fat diet, carrying excess weight, drinking a lot of alcohol, smoking tobacco, and the use of some medications also increase the risk. How to lower blood pressure treatment will depend on several factors, including how high the blood pressure is the risk of cardiovascular disease or a stroke the doctor will recommend different treatments as blood pressure increases. For slightly high blood pressure, they may suggest making lifestyle changes and monitoring the blood pressure. If blood pressure is high, they will recommend medication. The options may change over time, according to how severe the hypertension is and whether complications arise, such as kidney disease. Some people may need a combination of several different medications. Medications Conventional drugs for treating high blood pressure include 1. Angiotensin-converting enzyme inhibitors. 
Angiotensin converting enzyme ACE inhibitors block the actions of some hormones that regulate blood pressure, such as angiotensin II. Angiotensin II causes the arteries to constrict and increases blood volume, resulting in increased blood pressure. ACE inhibitors can reduce the blood supply to the kidneys, making them less effective. As a result, it is necessary for people taking ACE inhibitors to have regular blood tests. People should not use ACE inhibitors if they are pregnant have a condition that affects the blood supply to the kidneys ACE inhibitors may cause the following side effects, which usually resolve after a few days. Dizziness fatigue weakness headaches a persistent dry cough if the side effects are persistent or too unpleasant to manage, a doctor may prescribe an angiotensin II receptor antagonist instead. These alternative medications often cause fewer side effects, but they may include dizziness, headaches, and increased potassium levels in the blood. 2. Calcium Channel Blockers Calcium Channel Blockers CCBs, aim to decrease calcium levels in the blood vessels. This will relax the vascular smooth muscle, causing the muscle to contract less forcefully, the arteries to widen, and blood pressure to go down. CCBs may not always be suitable for people with a history of heart disease, liver disease, or circulation issues. A doctor can advise on taking CCBs and which type of CCB is safe to use. The following side effects may occur, but they usually resolve after a few days. Redness of the skin, generally on the cheeks or neck headaches swollen ankles and feet dizziness fatigue skin rash swollen abdomen, in rare cases learn more here about calcium channel blockers. 3. Thiazide diuretics. Thiazide diuretics help the kidneys get rid of sodium and water. This lowers blood volume and pressure. The following side effects can occur, and some of them may persist. Low blood potassium, which can affect heart and kidney function impaired glucose tolerance erectile dysfunction people taking thiazide diuretics should have regular blood and urine tests to monitor their blood sugar and potassium levels. 4. Beta blockers. Beta blockers were once popular for treating hypertension, but doctors only tend to prescribe them now when other treatments have not been successful. Beta blockers slow the heart rate and reduce the force of the heartbeat, causing a drop in blood pressure. Side effects may include Fatigue cold hands and feet slow heartbeat nausea diarrhea Less common side effects are Disturbed sleep nightmares erectile dysfunction Beta blockers are often the standard medication for a person with very high blood pressure, known as a hypertensive crisis. 5. Renin inhibitors Aliskyrin tecturna, rasiles, reduces the production of renin, an enzyme that the kidneys produce. Renin helps produce a hormone that narrows blood vessels and raises blood pressure. Reducing this hormone causes the blood vessels to widen and blood pressure to fall. This drug is relatively new, and healthcare professionals are still determining its optimal use and dosage. Possible side effects include Diarrhea dizziness flu-like symptoms fatigue a cough it is essential to read the packaging of any medication to check for interactions with other drugs. Find out more detail here about blood pressure medications. Diet managing the diet can be an effective way of both preventing and treating high blood pressure. Plant-based foods. A healthful, balanced diet includes plenty of fruits and vegetables, vegetable and omega oils, and good quality, unrefined carbohydrates, such as whole grains. People who include animal products in their diet should trim all the fat off and avoid processed meats. Lowering salt intake. Experts recommend reducing salt consumption and increasing potassium intake to manage or prevent high blood pressure. Limiting salt intake to less than 5 to 6 grams per day could help improve cardiovascular health and reduce systolic blood pressure by 5.6 mm Hg in people with hypertension. Healthful fats. In moderation, plant sources of fats, such as avocados, nuts, olive oil, and omega oils, can be healthful. People should limit their intake of saturated fats and trans fats, common in animal sourced and processed foods. The DASH diet. Health experts recommend the DASH diet for people with high blood pressure. The DASH diet focuses on an eating plan that emphasizes whole grains, fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, beans, and low-fat dairy products. 
Alcohol. Some studies indicate that consuming some alcohol may help lower blood pressure. However, others report the opposite, noting that even drinking a moderate amount might increase blood pressure levels. People who regularly drink more than moderate amounts of alcohol will almost always experience elevated blood pressure levels. Caffeine. Studies into the relationship between caffeine and blood pressure have produced conflicting results. A report published in 2017 concluded that a moderate intake of coffee appears to be safe for people with high blood pressure. Home Remedies The AHA recommend a range of lifestyle adjustments that can help reduce blood pressure, such as managing stress, quitting smoking, eating healthfully, getting exercise, following any treatment plan the doctor prescribes, discuss any planned lifestyle changes with a healthcare professional before introducing them. Regular exercise The AHA note that most healthy people should do at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity physical exercise a week. This could be 30 minutes, or 3 lots of 10 minutes a day, on 5 days of the week. This amount of exercise is also appropriate for people with high blood pressure. However, a person who has not exercised for a while or who has a new diagnosis should talk to their doctor before starting a new physical activity program to ensure the choices they make are suitable for them. Losing weight studies have revealed that losing as little as 5 to 10 pounds in weight can help reduce blood pressure. Weight loss will also improve the effectiveness of blood pressure medications. Ways of achieving and maintaining a healthy weight include Getting regular exercise following a diet that emphasizes plant-based foods and limits the intake of fat and added sugars for more advice on maintaining weight loss, click here. Sleep increasing sleep alone cannot treat hypertension, but too little sleep and poor sleep quality may make it worse. A 2015 analysis of data from a Korean National Health Survey found that people who had less than 5 hours of sleep per night were more likely to have hypertension. In this article, you can find more tips on how to manage high blood pressure. Natural remedies according to the National Center for Complementary and Integrative Health NCCIH, the following may help lower blood pressure. Meditation, yoga, qi gong, and tai chi biofeedback and transcendental meditation supplements such as garlic, flaxseed, green or black tea, probiotics, cocoa, and ricel, hibiscus sabdarifa. The NCCIH add, however, that there is not yet enough evidence to confirm that these can make a difference. They also warn that some supplements can have adverse effects. They may raise blood pressure or interact with medications. Meditation and exercise therapies are usually safe, but some poses may not be suitable for people with high blood pressure. Anyone who is considering an alternative therapy should speak to their doctor first. Get some tips for lowering blood pressure naturally. Diastolic and systolic pressure There are two parts to a blood pressure measurement. Systolic pressure, this is the blood pressure when the heart contracts. Diastolic pressure, this is the blood pressure between heartbeats. If blood pressure is 120 80ths of a millimeter Hg, it means that the systolic pressure is 120 millimeters Hg and the diastolic pressure is 80 millimeters Hg.